Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another interesting question. So the question is, we have some list of numbers available in a table and we need to write a query to find whether the numbers are continuous or not. Or we need to write a query to print the numbers that are continuous. For example, a number is a continuous if it has either its immediate previous number or the next number available in the sequence. For example, in this case, like 10, 11, 12 are continuous. Similarly, 98, 99 and 100 are continuous. So we need to write a query which prints 10, 11, 12 and 98, 99 and 100. So I am going to show you three different methods by which you can implement this functionality. In fact, you can write much more different ways of achieving the same functionality. I just want to show you three different ways so that that will give you some idea to implement a logic. By that way, I would suggest you to try more alternative methods of implementation as well. Fine. Let us start with our first method. First, let me show you the logic I am just going to follow so that it is easy for you to follow when I am writing the SQL. So in the first method, I am going to compare the number with its previous number and with its next number. So if a number is 1 greater than the previous number or if the number is 1 less than the next number, then that is a continuous number. So basically to compare it, I am just going to use the lead and lag analytical function to get the previous number and the next number in the same row. For example, using lag function, we can get the previous number something like this. So 6 will get printed in the second row, 10 in the third row, similarly 11 in the fourth row, 12 in the fifth row. Similarly using lead function, we can get the next number in the current position. For example, 10 will get printed in the first row, 11 in the second row, similarly 12 in the third row. So once we have got the number and its previous number and its next number in the same row, then it is very easy for us to compare. So what we need to do is we just need to compare the 6 either a 6 is 1 greater than the previous number or 1 less than the next number. So in this case this is not satisfying. The next uh, value is 10. So 10 is not 1 greater than 6 but it is 1 less than 11. So it is a valid number. Similarly 11 is 1 greater than 10 as well as 1 less than 12. So this is also valid. Similarly 12. So this is also valid. So in the same format, we can check the 98, 99 and 100. So we just need to compare this and we need to print the uh, sequence numbers. Now I, I hope it would be very easy for you to follow the query. Okay, let me create the table. Table is created. I'm just populating the values data is committed first let me query from the table so let me query the column name is c okay first i'm querying c comma lag of c comma one over order by c okay so this will give us the previous value so let us give uh, alias like PRV just for understanding I'm giving PRV that is a previous same way I'm going to use the lead analytical function to get the next number okay now if you can see here we got all the previous numbers of a number as well as the next number okay now let me make this as a inline query. Let's say select star from. We'll make this as inline view. We just need to put a var condition saying where C is one greater than previous. So I'm just saying previous one or C is one less than next, next minus one. So this will give us the numbers that are in a sequential format. Anyway, we are not interested in printing the previous and the next value. So we just can print only the C from the inline query. So this will give us the numbers that are continuous. 
Now let us see one more method of implement implementing the same functionality. Okay, let us see how to implement the same functionality in one more way. In fact, in this method also, I'm going to use the analytical function only, but not the lead and the lag function. Okay, uh, so we have the input and we know what is the expected output. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to print the row number along with the numbers. After getting the row numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract these two informations, something like six minus one equal to five. Similarly, 10 minus two equal to eight. Now, if you see, there is a clear pattern. For example, these numbers are getting repeated, few numbers. So you can see here, that means wherever a number is getting repeated, that means those are the potential numbers which lie in a sequence order. Okay. Uh, once I get the uh, subtraction of the number and the row number, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the count analytical function to count how many fives exist in this group. So this basically will return one. Similarly, I'm going to count how many eight exist in this group. So number of eights will be three. Similarly, number of 52 will be one. Number of 72 will be one. Number of 91 will be three. Number of 110 will be one. Number of 14 will be one. Now, if you see, there will be one clear pattern. Anything that is greater than one are the sequence numbers. So the actual output will be something like this. So if you see here, here is three and here is three. So we can just filter out for the count that is greater than one. So that will in fact return the 10, 11, 12, as well as 98, 99 and 100. Okay, now let me show you the query. So let us select from the table. Okay, I'm just going to use C. Then I'm going to use row number. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to subtract C and row number. Okay, now we can use count of star over partition by C minus row number. Now if you can see here, wherever there is a sequential data exist, that would have become more than one. So let us just give some alias saying count. Okay, so we can in the outer query we can say select star from where count greater than one. Okay, anyway, we are not interested in printing the rest of the information, so we can just print only the numbers that is the sequential numbers. So this is the second method of implementation. Okay, now let us see one more method of implementation. Okay, in fact, in this method, I'm not going to use any analytical function. Instead, I'm just going to use a simple self join. Okay, in fact, this is very, very uh, simple implementation. I'm just going to use a self join. You can see here, I'm joining the table to itself. Saying that I've taken like two copies. One is called a T as alias C. Another one is also the same table T with alias P. So you can see the condition that is the value should be equal to the value plus one. That means any value that is equal to the value plus one. So in this case, like 11 will be equal to 10 plus one. Similarly, 12 will be equal to 11 plus one. So similarly, 98 will be equal to, sorry, 99 will be equal to 98 plus one. 100 will be equal to 99 plus one. So that's why if you can see here, we just got 11, 12, 99, 100. Same way if you can write another query, exactly same, instead of plus one, I just put a minus one here, so that we will get 10, 11, and 98, 99. Okay, uh, this is so simple, a simple self join I have used it here. Okay, now we have got like two set of uh, output, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a union of both, so that we'll get the expected output. So when we get a, when we uh, do a union of both the queries, we'll get the expected output. Okay, so this is the third method of implementation. So here is our first query. Similarly, here is our second query. So I'm just going to use a union so that this will remove all the duplicates and we'll just give the result in a sorted order. Here is a quick summary of all the three queries, whatever I have showed. In the first query, we are just using the lead and the lag analytical function. 
in the second query also i'm using the analytical function that is count but in the third query it is very very simple we are just using the self join mechanism okay uh, all the queries i have posted in the link given here and if you want to go through all the interview questions you can you can just go through this link mentioned here both the links are available in the description i hope you have learned something new today if yes please like this video uh, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can post to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video